Hello guys. And welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something I haven't done in quite a while now, which is just a city down, chitty chatty, spiritual life update um, for me to you. So the thing is, when I first started this channel, and I have a lot of new subscribers, um, by my standards at least, um, and welcome to you all if you're watching this video, I appreciate having you here. So when I first started this channel, as some of you know, some of you probably don't know, I vouched to let you learn with me, basically follow my journey from my very first tarot deck to where we are now, moving on from here. So, I owe you all an update. It has, it has been a lot, a lot, a lot has happened uh, on my spiritual journey for especially, I want to say, the past few months. I've spent a lot of time with Sandra and I've learned a lot through her. If you are not yet a subscriber to her, link up somewhere and also down here. Make sure to go follow her. She's basically my mentor, so she is very knowledgeable, very wise person. And yeah, I learned a lot from her. But also I have felt a strong shift within myself. And I kind of want to, want to tell you what happened especially on Saturday, because Saturday, last Saturday, that was the, the, the um, let's see what day that was, August 15th, it was, I'm filming August 20th now, and so that day, I woke up to a comment on my YouTube channel, it was nothing bad at all. In fact, it was just a little bit of constructive criticism, that was all. It was nothing really, and if, if you're watching this and you have given me some constructive criticism, don't worry about it at all. It's nothing to do with you. It just... It sparked... Ooh, I don't want to get emotional. It sparked... Uh, it sparked a lot of things in me. Um, Basically, this person asked me to please let Sandra speak, and in in the video I did with her, and that is a perfectly valid and fine comment to make. Let me just put that out. There's nothing wrong with the comment. The problem is here. Okay, so what happened was I read that comment, and I got really sad because... Uh, first of all, I thought that I had actually caught Sandra off in the video, and that was, first of all, not my intention. Um, because I know that she has a lot on her heart, and she has a lot to say, and it, yeah, it was, it was never my intention to, to cut her off in any way. Um, I watched the video back, turns out what it was, was actually editing on my part, because there was nothing moving on the table, it was very hard to tell that there was actually a cut there, but what happened was that we switched to a conversation in Danish after she made her comment, and then I decided to cut that out, because the majority of you are from the States, and you don't speak Danish, so, and also it was pretty irrelevant to the reading we were doing, so I decided to cut it, and... It made it seem like I cut her off, and it just it sparked a lot of things in me because I got cleared. I got that cleared up for myself, which was fine. Um, but then, and this was five in the morning. Then I started to spiral. And I spiraled into... I spiraled into this whole thing of... Should I be doing this? Should I be doing reading on this channel at all? Should I be... Focusing my energy elsewhere? Um, and... Again, this has nothing to do with the actual comment. It was just... Uh, 
again it, it was it was me and I came to this conclusion because I felt that you know when someone as amazing as Sandra is out there then why would I want people to Why would I want people to watch my readings when someone as Sandra is out there who is so knowledgeable and so... Uh, such an amazing reader and... It just made me... It just... it made me feel like I... Didn't do you guys justice. I now have... Currently speaking, 545 of you guys who are supporting me, and I'm very, very thankful. Um, don't get me wrong at all, and um, uh, I just I'm doing this video because I really want you guys to know what's um what's up with me, how I'm feeling, my spiritual journey, me going through the motions because I know a lot of people are struggling with these kind of things and. Me coming on here and being transparent even when I've had bad days is one of the things I really wanted to do because I knew that opening up for all of these things in my life I would have days where I would feel not my best because of that and yeah I want to share that as well so oh <sighs> okay moving on um so so then after I got to this point, I reached out to Sandra because I was, um, I felt ready to quit. I had been crying the day before, um, for unrelated reasons, and then for an hour at that point, that morning, and I reached out to Sandra because I was ready to quit, to lay it down and be like, you know what? I shouldn't be leading people to my channels when there's other amazing readers out there, basically, is what I felt like. Um, Sandra came back to me, and um, of course she did. Um, and... Oh, I need to stop crying. I am... So sorry, I really thought that, you know, I have this on um, almost a week sticks distance now, and I thought I could handle this without crying, but apparently not. Oh, <sighs> okay, and this is not even, I know a lot of you are sitting out there, it's like, why is, like, this is not a big deal. Like, to me, this was all the feelings and all the emotions at once, and if you know me personally, you know I'm not hugely emotional. Very often it happens very rarely when it does happen, it hasn't happens very strongly, and I feel all the emotions at once, and then I go on with my life, and I'm great. Here's the thing that's it hasn't been like that the past month. I have been really emotional over the smallest things. Um, I became an aunt for the first time, I started crying. Uh, this happened, I started crying, you know. When I got 500 subscribers, I was crying, you know, it's, and it's, it's very much not like me, usually. And, well, anyways, I reached out to Sandra, and she came back to me, and she had a lot to say. So let me just actually grab those messages for you. I'm gonna read what she wrote to me, and... I'm probably gonna be bawling my eyes out the entire time, but I want you guys to know because it's... I know... I want you to know what she means to me as a person and how important she is to me on my spiritual journey because she is Alpha and Omega on my spiritual journey, basically. She has taught me 98% of what I know and she writes, you know that we grow all the time. It's not about getting to a point, because you are already amazing the way you do your readings. Sometimes we get tricked because of comments, I do too. Keep your head up high and don't you fucking give up. I'm sorry. 
without the language. And then I will come drag you out of the rabbit hole myself. I am proud of you and damn you have grown the past year with everything you do. I have watched you closely the past days and I'm so proud of the way you do readings. You are so confident on your channel and use your intuition and you don't realize it. Sometimes situations like this happen like the universe tests us to see if we will realize how much we have grown and how long we have come. It's all a little test, it's nothing else. And then she writes, actually I think it's because you're healing is something very important and you're seeing yourself from another side. Also tapping into your spirituality in another way. Going through a spiritual awakening is emotional and you know, I know that more than anyone. So it's okay that you react like that, but, the, but don't give up. <laughs> and you know I'm here for you if there is anything. So if you have a strange feeling or you feel down, come to me instead. Don't sit with it or keep it. <laughs> and turn it into self-punishment. You're fabulous and the world needs you. And then she writes, it's a test. Um, I hear my guides, uh, my guides say, she got this, but she needs to believe in herself. You actually have two new spirit, spirit guides beside you. Uh, besides the cat, I haven't talked to you about that, but I will in a second. That are waiting for you to tap into them. I think one of them is a wolf. It's a she. I think, and I also have a story about her. I think she's walking by you all the time, like I have Grey, he's always walking next to me. Your wolf will be there for you, especially in school, making you strong, but you have to learn to trust and feel the energy next to you. This is your task for today, feel her energy. When you are walking, she's walking with you. When you're sitting, she's laying or sitting next to you. I think the next three months will be very emotional for you because of this awakening. You're letting go of your old belief system, let it shift. And that was such a. It was like a, it was like a groundbreaking. It was a groundbreaking message for me because, um, as always, of course, she's right. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sitting here pulling my hands out. It's just um, I really wanted this to be real. I suppose I want I want you guys to realize that. I'm not perfect by any means. I don't claim to be perfect. I don't claim claim to be all knowledgeable. I give you what I can through my readings with the experience I have. And I do my very best every time. I try to learn new things every time I read for you guys. And I really appreciate your all's feedback when you, whenever you say it resonates or it didn't resonate. I, any feedback you give me, I always appreciate it. Just because it makes me emotional does not mean that I don't want it, if that makes any sense. So, I actually had to get on with my day and I took a shower. Of course I got back to her and, you know, and we talked for a little bit and it made me feel much better. I just wanted you to have that snippet of the conversation um, because of what happened later that day. So, I gathered myself finally after two hours of bawling my eyes out, got ready and got out the door. I had to meet my new friend, Leona. Um, she's originally from Florida. And I had to meet her that day and hang out with her. And we also talked about it a little bit. Um, I'm sure you'll meet her on this channel eventually, if she feels up for it. But... Um, yeah, so I went, I went on with my day and throughout the day I felt the presence of the spirit guide she was talking about. Really strongly, even. Pretty much from the second I, I left my house. Like, it, it started, it started a bit in here that same morning, but I really focused, tried to focus my energy and focus my spirit and mind on on this guide, on this wolf, and she did come to me, and it was a wild 
a wild experience having her it is a wild experience having her heal still um her support is amazing and um her name is Kova and she has really helped me get through these days where I have have been emotional and has helped me go through this. I am currently going to school for um web mastery, SEO and like these analytical things about websites and stuff like that. Which is very much out of this whole world, but I'm going to school for that and I have since I went to school I've been terrified of schools. So I don't like it and I never had a good school experience ever. So well, that's that's not true. But I, I I did have like half a year that was really great. But apart from that, like my school years have not been the best. Anyways, having Koba by my side there and has been really amazing. It's giving me a confidence that I didn't know I had through throughout school, and it's given me a confidence about like you know some of this stuff already. You've got this, and Koba is always there, laying next to me, talking to me, and you know basically you know hyping me up and make sure that I know that I'm I'm a valued person, and you know these kind of things. It. And I'm so thankful for that. Now, the thing with the cat that she mentioned is that when I was with Sandra, I actually had a dream about a red cat. And I don't dream very often, rarely, and when I do dream, it's usually nightmares. But this time, it was a, it was a good dream. It was this red cat, and he came and spoke to me and comforted me and in general let me know some things about myself that that was really nice and let me know that I was on the right track and you know I was and let me letting me know that I was growing and becoming better and I would be alright and there was good things in my future. I didn't get his name unfortunately I heard it in the dream but then I didn't remember when I woke up so I'm waiting to hear from him again I haven't since then um, Koba is always here now which is very nice um, so Koba is the only spirit guide I have that has a name um, that has given me her name um, I have an owl apart from that he is yet to give me um, her name and then I have the cat, and I have one more apart from that, um, which I, I haven't met yet. Um, but yeah, it's been it, it was uh, it was a super emotional day. I went on with my day, and I came home, and I actually got a message from I got a message from Robert Tomlinson, the guy who made the Titanic Tarot. This one, it is also. There's an unboxing of this up on my channel as well. It is a wonderful deck. There's really care for the details in this deck. And he sent me a message because... Let me see if I can show you here. There is a mistake in this deck. It's not something that I have worried about myself too much. But I know other people have just found it and let me just show you what the issue is now if you have the deck you probably know this already and I'm um, sorry Robert that this is going into a video of me crying if you're watching this but you see I don't know if you can until there you go there's two number 17 in this card um, the star and the moon both have number 17 and that is obviously a mistake. It's not something that bothers me a lot personally, but um, I know that people have been asking about it. So what um, Robert then messaged me about was that 
he is now making solutions for this. Well, he, he messaged me um, his solutions for this and I put it out into as many Facebook groups as I could who were terror related as well as I put it on my channel. And we talked a little bit about a little bit back and forth about um, when it would be fixed and this and that and what was his expectations for it and so on and so forth. Now, he then offered to send me his new tarot deck based on the Wizard of Oz um, to me for free, as well as the corrected version of the deck. Now, the corrected version of the deck does not come with a book or um, does not come with a book or anything, it's just the replacement cards. Which I don't mind at all. Um, again, Robert, thank you so much. I am really enjoying. I'm really gonna be enjoying making a killer review of this deck on my channel and a walkthrough, and I'm very excited about it. So, the same day that I was in the morning thinking about quitting YouTube, the same day he reaches out to me and. Yeah, get, gave me my first PR product basically. <laughs> Um, it's, uh, it was just, it was such a mess of emotions, and then of course I started crying again because I was still emotional from that morning, and this and that and the other, so, yeah, but when I do receive the deck, um, the, the two new deck, I will of course show you the differences in the old deck and the new deck, and I will... Um, of course make a separate video about the walkthrough of the Oz deck. And yeah, I am, I am very excited to show you guys. Now, the other little thing I wanted to show you in this video, which is actually something that has been sitting on my shelf for a little while, but I've not been able to get to it because I have been hanging out with Sandra, then school start, started, yada yada. So it's this little bag of crystals and I thought that we could unbox this together and I could take my best guess at the crystals in here because honestly I don't know. This was just a bag. It was just on Facebook like this. You know, get this bag. It was like 100 kronas. So it was like super cheap. Get this bag and then there was nothing else about it. So we are gonna see what this is. Now the first one here is definitely Labradorite, I think. Yeah, it does. It has to be blue shift, if you can see. I don't know if you'll like Oh, there we go. So it definitely has the blue shift there. Um, if you can tell. It's a beautiful tower. It's a bit... It's taller than I expected it to be, actually. It looks like that. Then we have just a little random fabric rose. Looks like that. Then this is uh, rose quartz, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Looks like that, just a little piece. Actually, let me just, because I do have my crystal book right here, just in case there was something I didn't know what was, so let's actually just look these things up. It says, iridescent labradorite is a highly mystical and protective stone. A bringer of light, it raises consciousness and connects with universal energies. Labradorite deflects unwanted energy from the aura and prevents energy leakage. It forms a barrier to negative energies shed during therapy. It can take you into another world or into other lives. A stone of is esoteric knowledge, 
It facilitates initiation into the mysteries. It releases stress and regulates metabolism. It treats cold, gout, and balances hormones and relieves menstrual tension and lowers blood pressure. But it is um, meant to be held over the higher heart chakra and held in place. And will treat these things. So that's very wonderful. Now. Let's see about Rose Quartz. We live and we learn, right? It's, uh, Rose Quartz is about love and peace. It is the most important chakra for the heart and the heart chakra, teaching the true essence of love. It purifies and opens the heart at all levels and brings deep inner healing and self-love. It is calming, reassuring, and excellent for use in trauma or crisis. Now, Rose Quartz is one of my... Favorite crystals. It's one one of the ones I have the most of. You can see them standing around here, and yeah, they are several pieces in here as well. Um, it's just always like that, is, along with um, it has just always been very appealing to me. I don't since I was a kid, even when I didn't know anything about it. So it strengthens the physical heart and circulatory system and releases impurities from the body fluids. Rose quartz aids chest and lung problems. It heals the kidneys and alleviates vertigo. It's also said to increase fertility. We don't want none of that though. That is interesting. Let's see what else we have. Now, this one is a burnt citrine. There you go. Looks like that. And burnt citrine is basically um, heat treated amethyst. It was not in this specific crystal bibles so I had to look it up. So just to be very clear this is not real real citrine. This is um, a piece of amethyst that was heated or baked as far as I can tell. Yeah it gives it that honey honey feel to it. But that being said, it I feel like it can over the frequencies when a crystal has been altered or baked, but um, doesn't mean it has no properties. It is one of the most joyful energies of any healing stones, citrine in general. It imparts confidence, courage, and hope, and makes it one of the very best stones to use to treat depression and anxiety. Burnt citrine's energy is exceptionally playful and can help us to stay in the present moment. So that is that one. Now, now we're coming into soon at least one some of the ones that's a bit more where I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see if we can figure it out. Now this looks to me like it is just clear quartz. Just a little ball of clear quartz. Let's see if I can make it focus on it here. But it is just a little clear, clear thing. There you go. Looks like that. Let's make it not roll off the table. Stay. Quartz is a master healer and can be used for any condition. It stimulates the immune system and brings the body into balance. It is excellent for soothing burns. Quartz harmonizes with all the chakras and aligns the subtle bodies. And you place it as appropriate. Okay, it looks like specific colors have specific... Um, it helps with specific things. That being said, mine is clear, so I'm not gonna go into that with this. But it is like a deep cleanser, basically. Now, this is where it starts to get fun. Okay, I think there's one more that I know for definite what is. This is what we call in Denmark uh, Desert Rose. I don't know if that's what you call it in other parts of the world. Okay, so the Desert Rose is a name given to a rose-like formation of crystal clusters that is formed in the desert, basically, of 
wind and water and sand, basically. So that is what this is. It's also called Desert Rose Selenite, and it carries energies of protection, prosperity, and purification. I actually don't own a pair or a piece of uh, Desert Rose yet. So this is my first piece. I think it's really, really beautiful, and I love it very much. This is also uh, one of the things I saw this, and knew that I wanted to have this little baggie. Now, the next few things is more unknown. So without knowing, I think this is a piece of, like, it's a little flat one. I think it's a piece of A gate. I am not sure, um, because of the large white mass in the middle, I am a little unsure. But I think it's A8. It's just maybe not been... Usually a lot of the times with these flat ones, they will color them in. Clear or milky white, gray, blue, green, pink, brown, often artificially colored. Yeah. So A8 stabilizes the aura, eliminating and transforming negative energies. Its cleansing effect is powerful at the physical and emotional levels. Uh, placed on the heart, it will heal the emotional disease that prevents acceptance of love. Placed in on the abdomen or taken as an elixir, a gate stimu stimulates and digest the digestive process and relieves gastritis. I don't know what the gastritis is. Okay. Uh, heals the eyes, stomach, and uterus. It cleanses the lymphatic system and the pancreas. It strengthens blood vessels and heals skin disorders. All right, cool. Okay, then we actually, I think we have another piece of a gate here. Pink a gate. Looks like that. This has been artificially colored, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it promotes a love between parent and child position over the heart for optimum effects. Now, here is where we come into a territory where I am unsure. I'm just simply going to have to see if I can find... Oh, this one is short. Is this glass? It's fragile. There's only that much for sure. Okay. So we have three mystery crystals here. The other ones I was pretty clear on from the get-go, but these three... I'm not entirely sure. Also because they are raw, which makes it more difficult, I feel like. Could this be Moss Agate? Potentially Moss Agate. This one. I'm just gonna hold these up so you all can see them. If the lighting is a bit much, I will tell you it is a light green color. My guess is Moss Agate. You can take your guess in the comment section if you know. This one actually also has the potential to be Moss Agate. It is a wide spectrum of colors. You can see my the upper bracelet here is Moss Agate. There's a lot of colors in that one. It is majority gray, but it has a green tint to it, especially in the bottom, which makes me think it could be. Now, here is the true mystery piece of the day. I've never seen anything like this. It's very reflective, which is what initially made me think glass. But it's also yellow in color. Let's see if I can. You see, that? it's also very sharp, so I'm trying not to fill with it too much. So it looks like that. Actually, this one could also be malachite, now that I think about it. The green one. Yeah, so this one, I don't know. It just looks very definitely fragile. I don't know what to make of this, you guys. Anyways, 
I think that's all I had for this little video. I will freshen up myself and get on with some readings now. <sighs> it was really nice talking to you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little randomized uh, video. It, um, it means a lot to me that you're here and that you support me and you want to be a part of this journey, my spiritual journey with me and yeah. I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.